Welcome back everybody. Today I've got a special treat for all of you. I've got a massive palette unboxing. So in total, there are 10 very large boxes. Let me tell you the total for this one palette, which I'm gonna show you these 10 boxes here, here in the corner here in just a second. These 10 boxes, a total manufactured suggested retail price of all the items in the boxes is $2,155, so we'll just call it $2,000. And these are Amazon liquidated customer return items and some um, Amazon uh, like overstock and uh, warehouse damaged items. What I actually paid, I got a heck of a deal on this palette, a crazy deal. I got it for $75 plus a 10% buyer's premium Seven dollars and fifty cents plus sales tax five seventy eight. So total, I got these this entire pallet of ten boxes for eighty eight dollars and twenty eight cents. It's all I paid. Like it's, it's insane. I got it for like four percent of retail cost. So this thing could be crazy profitable. So I'm gonna go ahead right now show you this ten boxes. I'm gonna drag over a couple of them. We're gonna start going through these things. This is probably going to be split up into two different videos because this is going to take a while to get through all these 10 boxes. So I'll probably do five boxes in video one and then I'll probably do a second video with the remaining half of this palette because this is going to be a big video, a long video. So let me show you what we're working with. So here in the corner actually is the 10 boxes here. You got four here, four on the bottom and these two on top here are the boxes my cat actually started scratching at this box right here you can kind of see a little bit of damage he did he did to that to that box but these are the 10 boxes that were part of this one palette these boxes are about 20 by 16 by 16 so we're going to go through probably five in this video and five in the next video so let me reset this tripod let me grab a couple boxes and let's get this video going So far with this new series, a lot of uh, I've, get, I've gained a lot of new subscribers. People have seemed to be very happy uh, with this new series of uh, seeing what it's like to buy liquidated, uh, like customer return pallets. Um, so far, you've only seen me get ones from Amazon, but you can also buy liquidated return pallets from companies. Like I buy them from Best Buy. Uh, Sears, Macy's, Kohl's, Walmart, Target, Toys R Us. Well, they're out of business now. Um, like most every major retailer, you're able to actually buy liquidations. Not directly from them though, but you can get their liquidated products through a liquidation broker or a liquidation website. But you know, you've got to do your research to figure out where to buy this stuff from. That's all part of the process. So let's get started. This is supposed to be bed, bath, home, kitchen, housewares, all kinds of goodies. So let's get started. First thing, Brita Pitcher. Brand new. Pitcher is not cracked. So that will be a profitable score. So I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time talking about prices or anything like that. More, I'm just gonna just kind of show you items. And like this Brita pitcher, this, it, you know, I guess I'll kind of, I'm, I'm gonna give you some like estimates. Like the Brita pitcher, uh, it could go for like 15-ish. I sell on eBay, Amazon, Poshmark, Macari, Facebook Marketplace, Let Go, Offer Up, my resale shop. I sell at multiple platforms so just because if you see like that brita pitcher sell for only ten dollars on ebay doesn't mean it won't sell for twenty dollars on amazon it doesn't mean i can't sell for twenty five dollars at my resale shop you know just because you see it on one platform for one price doesn't mean that's the set price for every platform out there that's all a part of the resale game you know a lot of people customers do not like to price comparison shop. Like, 
a customer, like they're diehard Amazon. They will go to Amazon for everything, no matter what the price is. They're trained by Amazon. We're the cheapest price always. It's not always true. So let's keep going. Here we have a interior light. Looks to be possibly newish in the box. Open it up. See what we got going on. Yeah, this is like some kind of a very, very fancy light. I'm sure, it's got pretty good value to it. That's going to take some research on my part to figure it out. What exactly this thing sells for. But that is the light right there. So, I'm sure, that sells pretty well. But everything, like, like I said earlier, I got everything in here. All 10 boxes for $88. Here we've got, oh, like a planter to hang for your plants. Inside the package is the hook where you can hook your planter like on your deck or something. Well, this will be like that nice little knickknack for like my resale booth. That's probably at least, you know, three to five dollars. Here is something, oh, it's one of those XO, what is the thing called? OXO uh, containers that is airproof. Um, this has been my resale shop for probably two or three dollars. Here we've got a pet safe easy walk no pull harness. Looks to be, I mean, looks to be like new, just the box is a little bit. This list looks like an Amazon warehouse damaged item. The box is a little bit crunched, but it's brand new. I'd look up prices, but it's probably going to be at least like ten dollars or so. And here we've got, look like some bed sheets. I see R2D2, I see Boba Fett, I see a Stormtrooper, so we've got, looks like some children's uh, bed sheets. So something like this, uh, we'll probably go into my resale shop. More than likely, it's probably a twin size sheet set. In my resale shop, it's an easy probably $10. Uh, something like that you can't sell online on eBay or Amazon because open package, that's not in the, in the original packaging, it's very hard to sell something like that. People want your bed sheets in the original packaging. Resale shop. Solar powered Christmas lights. This, um, this is like repackaged. Christmas time here in about three months or so, I'll be able to get in my resale shop a few dollars for it. Not right now, obviously. Here is a, looks like a tortilla thing, like a, a bowl. It's missing the lid. This can also be used as like a doggy bowl or something like that. But this also goes into my resale shop. So far, everything's like my resale shop. Here we have, oh, we've got a heated Fit King. Oh, it's it's like a, uh, it's for your leg. A heater, like compressor, you know what I'm saying. A heating pad. Looks like it actually says left leg. So these things can actually get kind of pricey. Um, air compressor leg massager. So yeah, this thing could honestly get kind of pricey. I don't see a brand on it. There's probably tags on it somewhere that has the brand. I won't drag this thing out, but a uh, air compressor with leg massager for your legs. That's probably going to go eBay, and I wouldn't be shocked if that is at least like $20 item. Last thing in this first box. Cool, cool, cool. A Nostalgia Toaster. These things sell very well, no matter, oh, it's brand new too, look at that. Still factory packaged. Things like this sell very well, no matter where you sell them. If you sell them on eBay or Amazon or resale shop anywhere, these things sell well. People love toasters and something like this. Oh, this is actually a grilled cheese sandwich toaster. That's even more like a, people like gimmicky stuff. This is like a gimmicky toaster. So easily 15, 20 bucks. I'll have to check out prices, compare eBay and Amazon, see which one sells the most, and that's where it'll, it will go. So that's the first box that we got in the first one. First of all, it wasn't that bad. Uh, everything once it's said and done. This first box has to be at least maybe, you know, 40, $40 once everything sells. So 
not bad at all. Not, not bad at all. So the first box should pay for damn near like half of what the whole pallet cost. With nine boxes left. So here's box number two. Wow, there's not very many things in this box either. Let's see what we got. First thing, we have a coffee maker, a grab and go. These things, uh, I usually don't put these online. Coffee makers are a hard sell these days because this is not like a coffee maker for like a K cup. This is like the old school grounds. But resale shop, I usually get, I usually prices out between eight and ten dollars, and they sell. Let me see if it's actually new or used. That makes a difference. If it's used, it'll go for about five. Oh, yeah, that's brand new. That's still factory wrapped up. So yeah, that'll, that'll go for close to ten dollars. Cool, cool. I love all this brand new package stuff. Next. Willow Tree, Angel of Mine. These things are collectible. Sometimes they don't go for a whole lot. Uh, it all depends on the subject matter, how much they go for. But I can usually get uh, lots of times between. Uh, kind of, oh, this one's broken. No. Dang it. Okay, the back of this thing is cracked. But I can still sell this. I won't sell this online. Um, whenever you're selling liquidations, something like this, you can't sell this on eBay or Amazon. Nobody's going to buy it. So you have to have some place else to sell something like this at. So if you don't have your own kind of shop, you're going to have to sell at like either a yard sale that you're going to have a garage sale, or you're going to have to sell it at like oh, like start up your own like flea market booth. Me, I'll put this in, into my own shop and I'll actually make it pretty cheap somebody will buy it since the damage on it is, is actually on the back side so as you display it you won't be able to see it so this still will sell but it won't get a whole lot I got probably priced at about five dollars and of course on the actual box I'll put uh, something like damaged and of course tell the customer whoever buys it look at it first make sure you're cool with the damage, obviously. Next, oh, this is this box only had three things in it. We've got a big Intex twin size pillow rest bed. I'm gonna have to repackage this thing a little bit. See what sucks about air mattresses is these always work. They're always in like new condition because what people like to do is they will buy these things for a one-time use, and then they will return them. So what they'll do, they will they will have a guest over. They will order a bed from Amazon. They will order a very expensive one too. They'll they'll get one for like eighty bucks. Have their guest sleep on it for a night or two. Then once their guest leaves, they return it to Amazon. They'll they'll call it defective or something to get to get, get their money back. But it's perfectly fine. It was used for just a matter of hours. I get it, and I look at it. And it's literally, it's brand new. It looks brand new still. I repackage it, and I usually sell these in my resale shop. And twin size, I usually go for about 25, 30. Queen about 40, king about 50. So this would be about 25 to 30. But it needs a repackage job because, yeah. So let me cut this video. Let me go grab some more boxes, bring them over. Let's keep going. Next three boxes. So far, this hasn't been like insanely profitable, and I'd say about 90% at least is going to my resale shop. It will not be sold online. That's a lot of people don't understand when you're dealing with liquidated products. Sometimes the goods you get, you can't sell it on eBay or Amazon because it's not in the kind of condition that would be sellable on those platforms. You've got to have some other way to sell it to get your money back. And uh, that's kind of like the battle of being a reseller is you've got to have many ways of selling your items. Okay, let's just get going. Here we go, here we go. First thing, it looks like a pair of youth medium, looks like baseball pants. Um, it's actually Easton brand. So more than likely, this they're, they're not dirty. These things are white, so if these things were used, you would be able to tell. 
So more than likely this was bought by somebody that they didn't fit their child, so they returned them. But um, Easton, name brand, baseball pants, probably at least between $10 to $20. Here's something that is wrapped up, taped up, in a box with a string hanging out. What is this? It's in a bag. What in the world is this? Oh, it's, it looks like a set of different voltage adapters. Yeah, all different voltage adapters for, for different countries. Yeah, uh, I've sold stuff like this before. Not a huge seller. Um, something like this is more kind of like a knick-knack thing that it's like another resale shop thing for like a dollar. See if anybody wants it. Oh, that sucks. Here is a clock, but you can already tell it's broken. Even the hands on it. Oh, you hear all the pieces in it. So, broken clock, but I had to put this thing. Man, these the hands just the hand literally just fell off the clock. So it looks like, yeah, this clock is actually like a, a, a glass type of clock and it is broken. So that does suck. Here is a Violetta. I think I said it right. Uh, what's this thing? Like a milk, mocha thingy for your coffee. Sold these things many of times. Cool, cool. Still new. So this thing will go for about $20, $25. I'll be throwing that probably on eBay because I'm pretty sure this is a Amazon restricted brand where I need permission from that company to sell it on Amazon. So that will go eBay. Here's something kind of nice. Cuisine Art three quart pour saucepan. Hopefully this is new in the package. Oh yes, it is still wrapped up. Very, very nice. I don't want to pull this thing out and get fingerprints all over it, but yeah, it is still new in the package, looking good. So this thing will be, this thing will be profitable. I'll have to look to see if this brand is gated, restricted on Amazon or not. And if it is not, it will go Amazon, because that will probably be where it will sell most for, if not eBay. But uh, this brand, pretty expensive. Not expensive, but, you know, not a cheap brand. So let me actually, I'm going to look up real quick. So it looks like this thing sells for about, for about 50 bucks. So that is awesome. That might be one of the best things on this pallet. Freshware meal prep lunchbox, 15 day supply. Okay, let's see what this thing is. The top of this box has a return label on it that the person sent back, so I don't want to show the person's address who returned this to Amazon, so I'm trying to keep it down low. Okay, here we go. You see, meal pack, meal prep lunch boxes, 15 day supply. Cool, cool. Um, they're just plastic. So not, not a huge profit kind of item, but um, I'll probably go for at least 10 bucks or so. Still, still money. Last thing in this box, body benefits, invigorates body on the move. Con Air, what is the foot soaker? Is that what this is? I think. Yeah, yeah, foot soaker. So, uh, Con Air, of course, isn't you know like a expensive brand. Looks like it sells for about between forty and fifty bucks. So that's not bad. So this one box here between two items, um, the Cuisine Art and the Con Air, could be maybe as high as like a hundred. Those two things. It's not bad. I'll take it. So yeah, so just this box here should pay for everything, um, should pay for the whole pallet. So I always like to find a couple things in the liquidation pallets, like just find a couple things that'll pay for everything. Or you know, the, 
to pay for what you paid for it so that everything else then is just pure profit. So we did that with that box because these 10 boxes was $88 for me. It's all I paid. Two left for this video. I'm sure this is already going to be a 20 minute plus video right now. So this will be split up into two separate videos. So let's get going. Two left for this one. First one, oh, this is a uh, shoe rack or a shoe hanger for your closet. That's gonna be about $15, $20, brand new. A big thing of dessert plates. I'll probably go to my resale shop for about five. Here we've got, it's Miss, oh, there's the lid. Looks like a, just like a storage container for makeup or whatever you're gonna put in there. Yeah, just something cheap. It calls it a super stacker divided supply box. I guess you can put your bait and tackle in there, makeup, anything you wanted. Uh, by going, going to my shop, I'll price it at something. Not a whole lot. Oh, uh, what's this? Is this a coffee grinder? The Krupp's coffee grinder usually comes in this size box. That's probably what this is. Box in a box in a box in a box. Come on! In a box, in a box, in a box. And it is. Oh, it's used though. But here's your uh, your coffee grinder. It's used. I have to check it out, make sure it works. It looks like it's heavily used though. So it might be burnt up. But I have to be tested out. Since it's, uh, if it's used, um, eBay usually used, usually goes for about 15, new usually goes for about 20 to 25. But if it's used and it works, I'll probably eBay it, more than likely. Next, we just have a basic Amazon box with some kind of weird, like, thing on top. I don't, I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure why they put that on top of there. Oh, it's film. What is this? Oh, okay. This is a camera. Instix Mini 9. Is this a Polaroid or something? Maybe. Something like that. I've never sold an Instix Mini 9. It, it, it is a Polaroid camera. So I have no idea. It can't go for that much. Um, I won't even guesstimate price on that because I, I don't know. Next, coffee pots. This brand I sell in my resale shop. This Mr. Coffee. This is like the most basic brand or most basic coffee pot that Mr. Coffee makes. I sell for $8 and it sells quick. People buy it. Last thing in that box. One box left for this video. Let's keep moving. Keep cruising. Almost done. So far, not a huge, huge profit maker um, for the first four boxes, but I got one more for this video, but you gotta remember, there is still five more boxes left for a future video. I'll part of this one pallet. So when it's all said and done, you know, it's still going to be several hundred dollars of profit. But uh, I guess one good thing, since most of the stuff will be going into my resale shop, it's actually going to be less work for me because I won't have to package stuff, ship stuff, mail stuff out. I'll just have to price it, put it into my shop, and let it sell. First thing, looks like we got a clothing item. Looks like just a shirt. Oh, looks like it's... Yeah, I want to look it up closer, but that's probably just going to be kind of crap. Ugh, Australia. What is this? What is this? Travel care kit. Okay, so this is a... 
cleaner and conditioner. I guess it's just a boot care cleaning kit for your Uggs. Brand new. So that's got to go at least maybe like $10 or so maybe. 100% sure. My battery's about to die. Let me cut this thing off real quick, change batteries, and we'll finish this box. Stay tuned. Quick battery change. We're back. Last box, few items left, or most of the box left still, but bigger items. Next two things, they're both the same. We've got by Nan irrigators, both the same. They appear to be new in the box. It's just the boxes are slightly like warehouse damaged in Amazon warehouse. Yeah. So some more brand new items, just warehouse damaged while they're being stored at an Amazon warehouse someplace in the country. These things are not huge sellers. They sell for about 10 to $15. So there's two of them. So, I mean, it's still $25, 30 It's not bad. Here's another UGG thing. We had earlier UGG, like a uh, boot, like leather cleaner. Here is UGG cleans and deodorizes insoles. Actually, I'm gonna keep this. Spray to shoot after each use to prevent odors. This is a shoe deodorizer. So, if you know, I am originally a sneaker channel. I've got lots of shoes, so I'm actually gonna keep this for a sneaker deodorizer. So this will go, this is the first thing actually, I think, that will go into my keep stack. Next we got Around the Block by Demon Daco. The back says home sweet home. Oh, so it looks like it actually, oh, it's just like a, just like a hanging decorative item. There's the hook on it. It's brand new. It's kind of decent, I guess. So it has to go for at least a few dollars, maybe 10 or so. Not 100% sure on this. I'm sure some out there knows how much that is, but it's brand new. Another UGG thing in here, kind of strange. I do know UGG is a restricted Amazon brand, so if I do sell anything UGG, it has to go Amazon or has to go, or it's restricted by Amazon, so it has to go eBay or my actual shop. It cannot go Amazon because it is restricted. Oh, there's another travel care kit that we saw earlier. So two of these, two brand new kits. I'm not sure how much that kit costs, but it's probably like eight to ten dollars. Okay, in here there are looks like four of these. Whatever these things are, there are four of them. That one's already opened up. Trend setters. That looks like some kind of a picture. Please clean with soft cloths only. Do not use paper towels or cleaners. Whoa, that's really cool. What is this? Looks like the back has a certificate of authenticity. It says, the certificate of authenticity must contain our uniquely embossed and fold logo to confirm that this film cell presentation is a genuine official product and manufactured by trendsetters. This collectible contains scenes from the movie, event, or concert capture 35mm film. Each piece is hand assembled and contains a special edition or limited edition numbered plaque. Well, that's cool. So here is a Melon Monroe original film cell, limited edition. This one's numbered 195 out of 2500. I'm not sure which Marilyn Monroe movie this is, but I know she is insanely collectible. Like crazy collectible. What if they're all... If, or, if they're different? Let's see. What do we have here? Okay, this same thing for this one also. It looks like they're probably all for the same thing. Like this one's numbered 196 out of 20. So, this, so that was 195, this is 196. So they're probably all numbered like, like consecutively. So that's really cool. 
These have got to have some value to them. Got to be careful with these things. Be careful not to put any fingerprints on them and stuff. So these things are brand new. Marilyn Monroe Film Cell Collectibles. I have never got anything like this before in a liquidation. This is one of those things that, that you get that uh, you're kind of shocked you get stuff like this from time to time in liquidations. Let me look this thing up real quick. I'll be back. So I found these on eBay. Looks like these. this actual one is, there's only one person listening on eBay. They're listening at $200. Um, I doubt it goes that high. Uh, I did find an original cost. If you bought this from Trendsetters, they had this thing selling for $100 on Trendsetters. It's long sold out. Um, came out a couple years ago. So this thing would be valued anywhere between $100 and $200. So I'm probably going to list these, I don't know where, I, I, I don't know, kind of don't know where. Uh, I might try Amazon, since these things are brand new. Um, I might actually put these out on like collectible marketplaces. This is the kind of thing where you've got to find the right collector for, for these things. And if I can even get a hundred bucks a piece for these four, that's $400. This liquidation pallet only cost me $88, so I can possibly get you know $400 back for just maybe for this these four things, maybe more than that. So this is awesome. So um, if anybody out there, if you're interested in buying one of these things, it's ultra cool. Like its original film is in this here, here, and here. Original film from the actual movie, like was cut and like you know was spliced out. So really, really cool collectible. If you're a Marilyn Monroe fan, really neat. I've never got anything like this in a, in a liquidation. So this is the first. There are always firsts when it comes to liquidations. There's always firsts where you get stuff. So there's two two more of these. I won't open them up, but I'm sure it's probably the exact, exact ah, Here's a label. Marilyn Monroe MGC Cell. Marilyn Monroe, yep. They're all the same thing. So that's cool. Few things left in this box, not, not a whole lot, like five, six things. Here is a Christmas kit. So this will be impossible to sell for several months still. This will be like a resale shop thing, you know, for like five bucks or so. So some I buy for their kids, you know, to make stuff with. Oh, True Grit is a very expensive brand. Well, not expensive, but it's like a 80, 60 to 80 dollar brand. True Grit, I've sold True Grit clothing before. This looks brand new in the package. This should easily go for between like 50 to 80 dollars. Um, so yeah, this will be on Amazon listed there. So this, this looks like a True Grit size medium. It's gonna be some kind of, of like a fancy, like a fur jacket. It's a good brand. Three things left. Oh, here's another UGG. It's going to be another like a shoe cleaner. Uh, this looks to be possibly underwear. So we're going to keep this sealed. Yeah, this looks like looks like underwear. We're going to keep that sealed. I don't want to touch it. One thing left. Alice, first thing. Lifetime Brands Soup Bowls by Amazon. So this thing is going to just have soup bowls in it. Uh, soup bowls, I usually put it into, into my resale shop. I usually get them, like, if, if it's decent, uh, higher quality, like glass, a couple dollars a bowl. If it's cheapy, like uh, uh, Ikea kind of, you know, crap, it's like a dollar a bowl. So, that's that. So, that's it. That's five boxes. That's half of the, half of the pallet. Um, I'm sure this is going to be a 30-minute video for just these five boxes. I'm going to cut it off here. So that's half the palette. We got some fantastic things. This fifth box was ungodly. This True Grit was awesome. These Marilyn Monroe Film Cell Limited Edition Collectibles, possibly $100 plus a piece. There's four of them. So with just these first five boxes, um, it should easily be lowballing it. Should I should easily get between five to $600 back easily off these first five boxes. So there's five more boxes. 
So stay tuned for the future video, probably within the next half week or so, you're gonna see part two to this video, the last five boxes from, from this palette. So if you enjoyed the first half of this uh, palette unboxing, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment below, all prices I quoted in this are estimates on past things I've sold. They might not be exactly on the dot, they're estimates um, to, to, to the best of my knowledge. I sell on many platforms, so that's that. So anyway, stay tuned, part two, coming soon. I'm out.